Today is going to be the start of digging out this mud for the train track. And it is extremely muddy down here. So I got a half a mile loop that goes, those stakes right there are the center of the track. They take off and go through the woods and loop around and then come back over to here. And I got to dig a little access road over here. And we got a new little toy we're gonna use to do all the digging. This is the Takahuchi TB2150. And it looks like it's seen better days. It's got 1100 hours on it, but she's, she's a little scratched up, so. But I dropped the TL12R2 off and picked this baby up for a month. It's their, I think it's 115 horse or 14 horse, 36,000 pound excavator. It's a little bit bigger than the 140, but not quite the 160. But it fit just right, I don't know, I think it was uh, two inches on the inside of my trailer on both sides, so it just barely fit on there. But we're gonna let it warm up and then jump in there and start digging this out. I've got, oh, the track itself is gonna be eight or nine feet wide. And then to this side of it, we're gonna put a 10 foot wide access road all the way around it so they can drive trucks in there and change out ties. But it's roughly gonna be about 2,200 yards of material coming out and maybe 2,500 yards of clay going back in. So it's all just dirt and mud and junk like that. The best thing I can come up with is just dig it all out, throw it to the inside and then start bringing the clay in, knocking it down, rolling it in. And then once we get the clay road down, we can run the trucks and the excavator in there and reach over and scoop out all the mud. So that's my plan. <laughs> We're gonna see how well that works, but uh... We're just gonna start digging this access road now until we get down to something solid and uh, yeah, see how this does in the mud. So let's see how the 2150 does. All right, like I said, this is Takahuchi's largest excavator. It's uh, uh, probably with the thumb, it's got a progressive link. I think it's a PSM, which I've never heard of a PSM thumb. An ESCO bucket. It's a 36 inch bucket. They're bringing me a 42 inch tomorrow because they didn't have one there. They had one, but it was like the whole bottom of it was pretty much gone, so. But yeah, it's got 1174 hours on it. I don't know what year it is, but I like it. But yeah, it, you can, it's had 1100 rough hours, I would say, because they've hit the boom with the thumb. They've scratched those two cylinders. The windshield is extremely dirty. Yeah, this is my ride for the month, so we got a lot of dirt to dig out. I thought this would be a good good machine for the job. I've actually got, I don't know, maybe three or four other uh, jobs to do with it. The first thing I did, it has uh, track alarms on there, like when you move. So I disconnected those because they were worse than the TL-12. I didn't want to listen to it, and uh, I figured you guys didn't want to listen to it either. And yeah, this is a swamp down here. I know it's a little muddy. Uh, it's probably never going to dry out. And he's wanting to try to get this thing opened in April or May, I think. So yeah, I'm gonna dig this down. I think maybe some of that Uh, three inch stuff I got at the shop we're gonna bring in here and try to do like a little access road for the trucks but yeah I mean it's just like feet of mud uh, I don't know where I want to pile all this stuff up is the problem man there's nowhere good to go with it so I wanted to get an off-road truck to uh, try to load it up and haul it out of here. The guy across the street, he's the one bringing the clay over and he's the one that wants the dirt. So I'm supposed to try to do my best to separate the good dirt with, uh, there's like a fatty gray clay underneath this layer of dirt and that's what holds the water. It saturates the dirt and then it will not let it go through that fatty clay so then it just sits on there and it never dries and then underneath the gray fatty clay 
is a good red clay. Which is what we're trying to do is dig down into hard pan. So I'll, I don't know, I'll try to humor them and do my best to put the actual good dirt over here, which is kind of right in the way. But yeah, I kind of feel like uh, let's dig almost now. I got a little bit bigger excavator. You guys can see a little bit easier. I'm sitting in here talking. Just missing my toothpick and my Bojangles cup. <laughs> this whole deal is going to be one long muddy mess. <laughs> Uh, there's my 12 foot mark. We're gonna dig it a little wider. So it should be a pretty cool project. Like I said, I don't know. I think I discussed it some but there's gonna be it's a train track for like adults and kids to come and ride on it's kind of like a little makeshift amusement park you'll have I think I did go over this and I don't know it's been too long but anyway for those that haven't seen it there's gonna be a small petting zoo a miniature couple you got three miniature donkeys and one miniature cow which I can try to walk over there they're here and show you those uh, Gonna have burgers, ice cream, I believe mini golf, a train ride, and then something out in the woods or out here called timber nets. I think it's like tree houses that are up built out through the woods there. There'll be zip lines and stuff in between them. And then I think at some point it's gonna have like a splash pad kind of deal. I don't know if that's coming this year or not, but the big theme is gonna be the train. So he's he did the other uh, burger and smaller train thing before. And he's always wanted to do a bigger one. We will carry on with this, but uh, be looking forward to a lot of TB250 or 2150. Too many numbers. Be ready for a lot of videos with this excavator. How about that? We'll just keep it simple.
know if I'll be using any more of that raw. I mean, it's solid enough. It's just got a lot of dirt in it, so. But, I don't know, for three or four hours this afternoon, I feel like I put a pretty good dent in it. Man, this thing's... I may have to try to shovel the tracks off. I think it's not supposed to get a 34 tonight, but still yet. I uh, started... Kind of got figured out around the corner. I made it to where the... What's I going to call it? The train depot or where you're going to load the train at. It's actually we're running into some pretty decent... It's red clay. <clears throat> it's tacky right now, but it just... It doesn't have any rocks and stuff like that in it, but... I don't know. I'm going to kind of make my first cut here and uh you know these that pile that pile and that other bigger one has got the better dirt it's got a little bit of clay and roots and junk mixed in with it but then i'll kind of see from there it gets deeper as i go with more dirt and the clay's a little bit softer so we'll just kind of play it by ear but like i said it's there's a decent stand of clay. It's just kind of the red clay with no rocks and stuff. So I want to make sure it's solid enough. I'm going to run to the shop. I did get a fuel tank. Got a 92 gallon fuel tank. So I'm going to put an electric, get my electric pump on that and throw that on my pickup. And then, uh, yeah, for the first time in forever, I'll uh, actually drive my pickup to work and I'll be able to leave this machine down here and fuel it up. But uh, hopefully tomorrow I can get here early and get a good full day and see how far I can get. I'm hoping to get around the at least around the corner and do this lower like the south section of it or whatever and then probably just kind of keep working my way around and come back out here but uh yeah made pretty decent how i could almost uh kind of wish i had a grading bucket to go on this thing like I said it's not real rocky or anything like that it almost slick it up a little bit better but it's not doing too bad with the the tooth bucket and the 42 inch bucket will be here tomorrow so that'll be even better I'm going to get my shovel and shovel these tracks off and we'll just pick it up in the morning. <laughs> 